I'm in Cork City collecting this Peugeot Partner electric van. It's brand new, it's only done 26 kilometres of delivery miles and uh, we're going to take it to West Cork today. The vehicle has been made available to me through the EV Commercial Fleet Trial, a pilot scheme run by the Sustainable Energy Authority of Ireland on behalf of Zero Emission Vehicles Ireland to give businesses an opportunity to trial a battery electric vehicle. A little while ago, an installer from Randridge Technologies fitted a charge point at our house that can be metered through an access card so that the SEAI can record our charging habits. My business mainly consists of video editing in a home office during the week and travelling to motorsport and classic car events around the country and sometimes further afield at weekends. We have a 6 kilowatt solar array fitted to the roof of our southeast facing bungalow. We have a 5 kilowatt hour battery storage in the house, so at this time of year, early springtime in the southwest of Ireland, I'll be doing a couple of charging sessions during the week to maximise the use of solar. The Peugeot Partner charges at 7 kilowatts from the type of AC charger being installed. The maximum output of our solar inverter is 5 kilowatts, so I'm going to be using approximately 2 kilowatts from the grid at maximum capacity. And at this time of year, it's unlikely I'm going to be getting max capacity from the solar panels, so I'll be letting the battery get ahead in the mornings and then plugging in. I'll then disconnect the van in the afternoon, and this will allow the house's battery to replenish in time for our evening domestic use. The van had a comfortable 36 kilometres of range after my trip down from Cork City to Castletown Bear. I've been waiting for a bit of solar to charge this van, so it's been sitting here a couple of days since I came back from Cork, and I think we're going to have the honour of commencing its first charge since it left the factory, because it only had 23 kilometres on it, and about a quarter of the battery was gone already when I got it, so I don't think this thing has been charged. I've been using a 30 kilowatt hour Nissan Leaf, which my wife and I have had since new five years ago, for most of my travels around the country during that time. I made videos of my early experiences in that car, but as the technology has moved on, I felt they had become a little bit irrelevant. It's going to be really interesting to see what this larger capacity van can do for my travel. So I think I use my Randridge stop and top card first to ID it and then plug it in. I can hear a little noise there inside in the van and it's starting. So our little Peugeot E partner is doing its first charge. I can tidy that up a little bit. I was plugging in the van at about 11 o'clock in the morning and I had actually topped up the leaf a little bit so our battery wasn't at full capacity. From the monitor it was getting about 2.5 kilowatts from the solar panels and 2.3 from the battery. While out and about in the Nissan Leaf at half past 12 I checked our solar app to see what the status of the house was and I could see that there was actually 5 kilowatts of power coming in through the solar panels which is about the maximum for the position of our solar array at this time of year. The battery had stopped contributing power at around 20% as this is how it protects itself from overuse but it had already helped to maximise our solar use for the day. We returned home around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so I disconnected the van. On this particular day, we generated about 15 kilowatt hours of energy and used 30 kilowatts. So the solar contributed to 50% of our usage. So 5 hours of charging had brought the van back up to around 75%. This is generally how I would store it until I was just about to go on a long journey and then I would top it right up. And that's the best way to manage the battery. Our Nissan Leaf at over 112,000 kilometers in five years is still recording full battery health on its dashboard. So I feel I can talk with some authority when it comes to battery management, especially considering that vehicle doesn't have dynamic cooling to protect it from the rigors of rapid charging. The next day was actually a super day for solar. I topped up the van, the remaining 25% or so, and refilled our leaf after our mid-afternoon trip the previous day. Look at that, 4 kilowatts of power going in at 9.30 in the morning in early March. Our solar panels generated nearly 30 kilowatts of power on the 3rd of March, almost enough to fill our entire Nissan leaf. 
seen here after coming back from Germany last summer. We'll continue to use our own charger to charge the Nissan Leaf and the Randridge's fitted charger will be used exclusively to charge the Peugeot ePartner so that the SEAI can record the data from our charging sessions. I got the van uh, full last Friday on that really sunny day and actually then, then filled up the Nissan Leaf afterwards and so on that particular day we nearly um, got exclusively all our charging from solar. Um, the one advantage of the, uh, the, the old Nissan Leaf is that it only charges at 3.5 kilowatts and that actually means that um, there's always about 1.5 kilowatts uh, of, of solar when, when it's there um, for the house to use. So we don't, we actually can genuinely charge that car and not use anything from the grid. This one is always going to need at least two kilowatts from the grid because our inverter can only put out five kilowatts and the van charges at around seven. Um, but it's still, um, a huge amount of the power going into this is from solar and that's the way I'm going to keep it. Um, I've got a nice big journey to do um, at the end of uh, next week, about a thousand kilometers, and that'll give me a chance to really see what the um, 50 kilowatt hour battery can do and what it's like uh, using this on the uh, rapid charging network. When I've gotten a little bit more used to the van, I'll do a more specific video um, about it and its features. So I hope you'll join me for those and uh, I'll uh, endeavour to, um, to, to, to update you as much as I can on the experiences.